Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Crabtree and Evelyn London haul. Um, this is a brand that I really haven't talked a whole lot about, but it's a, it's a really nice brand. They are a natural brand of skincare or body care products, and um, they released their new Christmas line of products. This is what the bags look like. They are absolutely gorgeous. It says... Crabtree and Evelyn on the sides in gold lettering. It has all their ingredients that they use, the orange poinsettia, all the different flowers on it, and it says, Exotic Bounty, a Seasonal Spectacular. Now, their products are really, really good, and they're famous for their hand cream. Now, I love L'Occitane hand cream, don't get me wrong, but their hand cream is really nice, too. Unlike L'Occitane, who has all the different formulations of hand cream, they have the same formula with a bunch of different fragrances. Now, this is one of their holiday um, collections. This is what it looks like, so it has the same packaging almost, and it is a music box. If you turn it, it actually plays music. So I thought that was pretty cool. But when you open it up, it has hand creams in it. Now, I actually stored all my hand creams that I have from them. Now it's going to play this music. Um, uh, okay, that's background music. Anyway, I'm trying to find the tag so I remember exactly which scents came in it. Hmm, I don't remember exactly which fragrances went in it, but I'm pretty sure I know. There's 12 fragrances. Uh, I'm just going to go through the fragrances and talk about which ones I like. This one is Pomegranate, Argon, and Grapeseed, and as you can see, I've been using this every single day. And the pomegranate scent is extremely fresh. All their scents are extremely fresh, and they're also extremely strong. So as you can see, it's still a very rich formulation, but it melts right into your skin without leaving a greasy residue at all. And it smells just like a pomegranate should smell like. It's very authentic. It's very, very, very creamy. It's yummy. I really, really, really like it. Now, one that came in, I also have in one of their full-size tubes. This isn't it, but it's in my bag for school. But this is what their full-size tubes look like, and this is what sizes came in there. Now, this is in the fragrance Chiraco Orange, Eucalyptus, and Sage. So it looks like that. This is literally the strongest orange scent I've ever smelled. It has more than orange to it, which is very hard to describe. But let me try to open it and see... It's extremely, these are so hard to describe, you guys, you have no idea. Um, all their scents are extremely hard to describe. It's almost like, um, I'm actually going to read the descriptions because they are that hard to describe. They're very, very unique. This orange, though, is like almost a blood orange, if you want to say that. Um, here, look, the Taraco orange, let me find it. Um, known for its deep red hue that results from a high concentration of flavonoid antioxidants, the Taraco orange is packed with more vitamin C than any other citrus fruit. But the juicy benefits don't stop there. Deep cleansing eucalyptus and purifying sage extracts help balance and detoxify the skin, and a citrus and green herbal scent energizes and refreshes. The synergetic result is antioxidant-rich body and hand care that revitalizes the skin and invigorates the senses. So that's what that is. It's absolutely luxurious and yummy. The next one I'm going to talk about, Stop Roxy, is, let me see where that one is at. I thought I had, apparently I don't. Okay, I don't have that one. I'm just going through the list. The next one, I'm sorry if this video is unorganized, is Evelyn Rose. And it looks like that. And this one is, Evelyn Rose signifies our quest for the perfect rose perfume. We found it in the exceptional Evelyn Rose, a bloom breed exclusively for us by renowned rose expert David Austin. This epitome of English splendor, this carefully cultivated flower, took eight years of botanical exploration and 30,000 seedlings to create. The stunning fragrance distilled from its petals is unlike any other in the world. 
To recreate this fragrance for our signature Evelyn Rose collection, we partnered with a four-generation perfume house and blended in subtle accents of violet, jasmine, and amber scents. This, the effect is simply sublime. It's extremely rosy. It's very, 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 very nice. I don't want to blend the fragrances too much, but I might have to. I'm just trying to smell them all for you guys. I have like a, them on all different parts of my body. So this one I have right there. Let's see. It's a very, very older woman rose, I would say. It's a, it's a, it's a rose scent I believe my grandma would wear. Now, there's actually one more rose that they have, and it is rose water. Now, rose water is significantly different than the other one. The rose water is, I'm trying to find it. Ro the rose is the symbol for love and good fortune. Timeless, alluring, and majestic, its heady scent and skin beautifying properties have been celebrated for centuries. In fact, the simple fusion of rose petal fragrance and pure water is a classic English beauty tonic. Our rose water collection starts with a distillation of a legendary hundred petal rose. We then gently blend a delicate fragrance bouquet of violet, peony, musk, and hints of dew splash foliage for an indulgent aromatic twist. And I will have to say that this rose is more of an earthy rose so it has that wonderful beautiful rose but it has the green notes in it that really make it wonderful now this next one is called La Source which is a very very popular one for them I believe and La Source is an extremely clean fragrance I know that La Source Beneath the craggy cliffs of coastal England, Scotland, and Wales lies a wealth of botanical treasures. These underwater algae, mineral salts, and seaweeds offer remarkable skin-smoothing benefits. We've harnessed the restorative properties as well as the crisp, clean scent of ocean air just whenever you need to escape the stresses of daily life. Just drift away on the aquatic accords and essences of marine and musk. And that's definitely, it's very... It's very fresh, very watery, very oceany, and it has a hint of powder to it as well. It's extremely yummy. The next one is Nantucket Briere, which Nantucket Briere is also super, it's super good. It's one of my favorites. Abundant and aromatic, the wild Briere rose adorns weathered cottage doorways and fog-filled harbors on Nantucket. But the Gray Lady so named for her oft misty shores i just dropped the cap oh here it is it has an exotic side too for centuries ships from around the world landed on her shores for rare spices and oils our nantucket briere collection is an eclectic mix of on-island ingredients and imports from afar sense of peony wild rose and amber gets a refreshing boost from the citrusy fragrance of bergamot. Meanwhile, notes of vanilla, patchouli, and exotic spices add a proper dose of the unexpected. And you can definitely, definitely smell the patchouli in here. It's a very floral scent, but with that hint of patchouli, really makes it perfect, I feel, for the winter time. That's super, super yummy. The next one is English Honey and Peach Blossom, and it looks just like this. And the English Honey and Peach Blossom is one of their newest scents. I know that for my... Okay. A time-honored beauty, honey has been long renowned for its soothing and curative properties. Here, in an exclusive collection that boasts natural golden purity, we've luxuriously blended wildflower, honey, and velvety peach blossom extract to intensively restore, condition, and transform the look of skin. The hydrating benefits are rich, warm, triumphantly sweet, just like nature nectar itself. And this is extremely yummy. You can smell the pure honey. It's not a fake artificial honey scent at all. It's extremely, extremely pure. But it has that sweet, juicy scent of the peach, which really tones down that strong honey with a little dash of floral that makes it 
extremely satisfying. The next one is the Lily fragrance. Now, Lily, I really like. Lily, I actually own in one of the bigger size um, hand therapies. This is the small size for $8. The big sizes are $20. And some scents, they don't have them all, but are in a super size with a pump, which I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. But it's the same formula, just in a bigger container. And this Lily... I'm partial to Lily because I always see lilies growing everywhere and it just smells extremely fresh. Nothing signals springtime in England like the dainty white blossoms of Lily of the Valley. Here, their enchanting aroma mingles with the heady scents of hyacinth, watery greens, woodland moss, and musk. All the vestiges of a dewy May day, hints of citrusy bergamot and rich ylang-ylang are layered in for good measure. And I can totally get that. You can definitely get that really crisp white flower. I would say that this is mostly similar to like a clean laundry type of fragrance. It's extremely nice. Then I have Verbena and Lavender. And I do own this one in a big size right here. This is one of the big sizes of the hand cream. And this says, In search of new fragrances, we headed to Provence, the heart of the perfume world. It was the scent of verbena and lavender filling the air throughout the countryside, which made an enduring impression. We blended this fresh, herbaceous scent with notes of cedarwood, white amber, and tonka bean for a lively and uplifting fragrance that instantly conjures up enchanting summers in this French countryside. Now, I'm partial to this one mainly because of my love for L'Occitane, and L'Occitane is based in Provence, and they do have a lavender line, and they also have a verbena line, so for those two to combine together is absolutely incredible. This actually made me combine my verbena and my lavender shower gel as well, and it's very yummy. You have the very relaxing fragrance of the lavender, which can really calm you at night, so put this hand cream on before you go to bed, but the same hand cream you can use in the morning to wake you up without vermina, which I think is absolutely incredible that one hand cream can do both. Now, the next one I do have sitting on my bedside table right now in the full size, and that is the lavender. Now, the lavender is extremely calming. It does not smell like the French lavender that you're used to because it's not a French lavender that they're that they have in here. Like the scent of England's favorite floral transport you to the wait let let the scent of England's favorite flower transport you to the purple fields and sun dappled meadows of summer. Lavender, long renowned for its calming effects, is the perfect thing to lift your senses. Notes of sweet violet, sensual jasmine, tonka bean, and musk delight and charm, whilst the wisp of lemon adds zest and energy in short, the soothing days of summer distilled. And you can definitely get that. It's a very, very, very um, calming scent. But not as calming as the L'Occitane Lavender, I will have to say. Um, the next one is the Gardeners, which I don't know if it's a strong fragrance, but I do know that it has... Um, it's really good for gardeners. They have a whole line, scrub and all, with this one. And this one says, Cultivating an England garden is a labor-intensive act of love. Our gardener's collection offers deep nourishment for the hard-working bodies that beautify the outdoors. Even those without a green thumb take heed. These products are splendidly restorative for gardeners and non-gardeners alike. This really is not a strong fragrance. It's almost just like a green note. Yeah, it almost just has a green note to it. It's nothing... Nothing too crazy, but it's still really yummy. And the last one is Summer Hill. And Summer Hill reads... Summer Hill. I'm trying to see what this says. Summer Hill, Summer Hill, Summer Hill. Oh, here it is. Summer Hill. 
British novelist Henry James declared summer afternoon to be the most beautiful phrase in the English language. We agree. It's happiness defined and the inspiration for our sunniest collection. Um, light, sensuous, and full of promise, Summer Hill captures the warmth and glow of an August afternoon. Accents of freshly mown grass mingle with notes of white florals, whilst hints of orchard fruits add a dash of summer sweetness. Effortlessly pretty and cheerfully car carefree, there's no denying which season it stands for. Definitely, it smells like fresh cut grass, but don't, it's not like... It's not like that really crazy, like, ooh, grass. Who wants to smell like grass? It's not like that at all. It's a very, very, very relaxing, relaxing fragrance. <laughs> um, I really, I really, truly like that scent. Um, that's actually the first time smelling it. As you can see, I was struggling opening the container. But now, after using one of every single one of these hand creams and loading them all over my hands, my hands are so soft. But they're not greasy. Like, I can pick something up and hold it. You know, it's not like anything crazy like that. That's awesome, actually. Um, I know that was a little rough of a video because of me reading everything. But I'm still partially new to this company. I've only tried, like, their hand creams and the Taraco Orange Shower Gel. Oh, well, and the Taraco Orange Lotion. I've tried, like, everything in the Taraco Orange range. But other than that, I am still new with the company. I do know, though, that they used to have metal tubes, which I had a couple of, and they switched to, like, these almost, like, plasticky tubes, which are actually really cool. I actually did not read you what the actual formula is. Our intensive conditioning cream leaves hands feeling softer which is with each use. Formulated with conditioning shea butter, water lily, and ivy extracts, and macadamia nut oil to moisturize and soften hands along with myrrh to help condition cuticles and nail nails. Apply as needed for daily moisturizing. So that's the formula. It's extremely an amazing formula. But after 17 minutes just talking about some hand creams, I will go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried Crabtree and Evelyn and what you like about it. Or if you haven't tried, what are you? What would you look forward to trying? I will talk to you guys later. Bye!